Christine Cushing. Welcome to today's episode of My Favorite Foods. Today I'm going to take one of my favorite combinations, bananas and chocolate, and turn them into a really amazing dessert with only four ingredients. So this is the first thing I'm going to do. I want to show you these little baby bananas if you've never seen them before. And I'm actually going to use them fully ripe and I want to peel them and get them onto a skewer. That's going to be step one. A good friend of mine told me that a monkey knows best how to peel a banana. Makes sense. So you're supposed to peel it from the butt end, not the little swirly part that comes up. So once I peel the banana fully ripe, I'm going to take a bamboo skewer like this and I just insert it halfway through the banana and this is going to be ready for the freezer. I want a nice flat tray with a little piece of parchment on it and a baking sheet that actually is going to fit into your freezer. So now I'm going to take these to the freezer and ideally I like to freeze them for an hour minimum but no more than two hours. That's the optimal kind of frozen texture of the banana. Okay, so next step, bananas are frozen for about an hour and now we want to dip them into chocolate because that's the part where you're going to swear that you're eating a banana ice cream that's covered in chocolate. So here's my trick, here's how I do it. I like to melt chocolate and I'm using about 4 ounces, so 4 ounces, 120 grams about. And the best way, if you've got a microwave that you trust, it's got to be a low temperature, you can do it that way. But I like doing it on a double boiler, so just in a pot like this with the water just steaming, not boiling, never touching the surface. And then you take it off even before it's melted and then you swirl it around. Don't touch it, don't stir it, just swirl it like that. And that's perfectly melted chocolate. The key here is to keep the chocolate warm but not super, super hot. The only thing I add to this chocolate, so 120 grams, 4 ounces of chocolate, seems to be a good amount that you can dip. So however many bananas, maybe four, four or five, sometimes six, depending on their size, the only thing I'm going to add to this is two tablespoons or 25 milliliters of virgin coconut oil. So this is what the coconut oil looks like virgin when it's sort of cooled. It looks almost like butter or lard, a little bit softer. And then I just melt this, cook it, uh, actually heat it down until it's clear. And now I'm going to add it to the slightly cooled but still warm chocolate. There's something about this combination that works brilliantly. So here we go. This is off the heat. I'm going to add the coconut oil to the chocolate. And this is bittersweet chocolate. If you're making this for kids, you might want to go with milk chocolate or a sweeter chocolate, but not too sweet. Stir, stir, stir. Very gently. For me, it's perfect because I want a little bit of a bittersweet edge with those sweet bananas. If you're making it for kids and you want it to be a little sweeter, mm, don't eat all the chocolate. Okay, so still now, slightly warm to the touch. So when you touch the bowl, you want that chocolate to be warm or liquid, but not hot. Now, because the bananas are frozen, as soon as you dip them in there, they're gonna, it's gonna create this beautiful crackling crust. First, I wanna show you what else that you wanna get ready if you wanna crust it with anything. You can leave them plain with just the chocolate, the banana, and the coconut oil, or you can roll them in a couple of different options. This is just coconut, shredded that's not sweetened at all. This is a really good quality coconut and I toasted it gently. Or if you want, you can roll it in nuts. These are pecans, you can do peanuts, or you can just leave it as they are. The key is, as soon as you dip it in the chocolate, you gotta go right away into this, otherwise it's gonna harden. Are we ready? Getting excited now. All right, now, you don't want to mess too much with this. I'm just going to stir it, or actually dip it in, and you see how you want to have a good amount here. If you take too shallow a bowl, you won't be able to fit the whole banana in. Are you ready? So dipping and rolling. Just a little turning on its end like that, so that it's all covered. Then what I do is do just a little shake like that. So we go coconut, one side. that it's half rolled in coconut and 
half lane. Now look what happens right away from the, the banana being so cold, it's going to start getting firm. Okay, next one I'm going to try and do it with nuts. So same thing again. I'll get devoured. I better try. Tastes like a banana ice cream cone. So delicious, you can't believe how easy and how great this is to make. Thank you for joining me on my favorite foods. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can make lots more great videos like this. See ya!